I think so many members of the, the media are activists at the core is that they have no they have no desire to orient themselves towards a true north or towards what would be true. They care more about having their team win. It feels like as if the people marching in the streets that we saw with BLM or Roe v. Wade, they just got press badges and now they're given all of this power. Is that a bridge too far or do you feel that the media has has transformed into basically an activist network? That's a good part of the book. They have transformed. The press largely, and I'm talking, when I say the mainstream media, I mean CBS, ABC, NBC, the New York Times, the Washington Post. Too many reporters in these institutions that we used to trust have decided their job is to be subjective, not objective. And let me give you one of my favorite examples. The night that Joe Biden was declared the winner of the election, it was the Saturday after the Tuesday election, church bells rang in Paris, fireworks went off in London. And ABC, CNN, and MSNBC reported to their viewers that it was part of an international celebration of Donald Trump's defeat and Joe Biden's election. You know what, Charlie? It was the weekly call to mass in Paris. That's why the church bells rang. It was a 500-year-old <laughs> British holiday called Bonfire Night, Guy Fawkes Day, that celebrated, commemorated the failed assassination attempt so on funny. King James I in 1605. It had nothing to do with America. Yet these reporters, these snobs, who think, how can anybody be for Donald Trump? They just interpret it as an election, repudiation, world celebration of Donald Trump's defeat. And they put it on the air because they think everybody thinks like they do. And that's why, I, again, this is why I wanted to write a book like this, because we cannot be a strong democracy if people can't trust the press. And the reason we can't trust the press is because the press doesn't trust us. They especially don't trust people yes. who carry guns or whose parents or grandparents taught them to hunt. They don't trust people who think life begins at conception. They don't trust people who grew up in rural areas. This is the problem with the media. And this is why they're in decline and denial.